how well we use the time. After all, it is known that a second loss is a second to none. <laughs> okay, let's give it up for our language evaluator, Macha Asinto. Macha, in the use, in the right use of English. I believe your example of mentioning those who use the word of the day has contributed to our vocabulary. The plural of goose is geese. The plural of mouse is mice. The plural of baggage is baggage. Next time, you can include plural and singular. I like how Macha is alert for the basic grammar rules, like subject and verb agreement and tenses. Thank you, Macha. I thank you because I made good grammar. Ignore my English teacher when she say that I need remedial classes because I am failed in English. Me? <laughs> failed English? That's impossible. I tell her. But I did, did it. Take the remedial classes I need. So today, I will sharing what I learned during classes because I hear speakers and all of them have bad grammar. <laughs> Kenneth, you spoke only a few words today, which is surprising. <laughs> may be expressed in a different medium, we will textualize and give a new life. For one thing, I did not get any words. Is this a new slang English? But I think, since cat got your tongue, it would have been better if you said, meow 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 <laughs> Now, Bruce, you said, Wakarimasuka, neko ga, ohi desu. I can't point my finger on the wrong. It can be wrong verb tenses. I meant it sound not correct like it is not in English. <laughs> Lastly, sassy, pizza pie, pizza pie, pizza pie. I think the correct pronunciation is pizza pie. <laughs> Repeat after me, please, sassy, pizza pie. pie. <laughs> Lastly, non -shonged. What happened to the word of the day? Not doing the word of the day is not a valid excuse. Let's remember the word of the day when we learn it later on in the program. So again, let's use the word of the day. Now, I can go on and 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 go on about germs. But I want to catch attention of the counter because he's cute. So, to end my speech, I'd like to say, XOXO, LOL, Judge One, Judge One, Judge One, Judge One. Now, back to you, General Evaluator. Let's find out from our language evaluator, Macha in the Toastmaster. Okay. Now, how well were we able to speak in English? Let's give it up once more to our evaluator, Jonathan Mill, Advanced House Master Bronx. Indeed, John, I believe your evaluation showed Toastmaster Mitch the basics of accepting an award. I most especially love your tips on keeping one's acceptance speech concise. My recommendation, John, is that you remind Mitch that in accepting an award, make sure she doesn't have to make bitter accusations at her colleagues who abandoned her, nor insult her ex-boyfriend who borrowed money from her and never paid her back. You did a great job evaluating her based on the manual objectives. I find your delivery sincere. Thank you, Advanced Toastmaster Brahms. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. General. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, yes. Mitch, I was very impressed with the knowledge that you displayed in this area. You accepted the graciously accepted the award. Your comments were very concise, which I really appreciated. Uh, you're obviously a leading researcher in this field. I had never known so many things about the sexual habits of grub worms. <laughs> 
until tonight, and now I know. In fact, I know more about grub corpse than I thought I would ever know, but I really appreciate you sharing those things. I like the way that you use hand gestures and vocal variety, especially how you did the movement of the drum <laughs> was, uh, was really, uh, was very appropriate <laughs> given your award, accepting that award. The only recommendation I would make to you is the comment about your boyfriend and the problems you had didn't really tie into the work that you did, but other than that, fantastic job. Big round of applause. For Let's find out. <clears throat> All right. Let's welcome back to the stage the evaluator for Mitch's special speech project, Advanced Toastmaster Bronze, John. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that the crown jewel of your evaluation is your ability to recognize the fine points that make receiving an award realistic. Okay? Now, something that I believe you could have added in your evaluation for Jeeves. Uh, didn't you notice that he was speaking to this side of the room and that for someone who was accepting an award, this expression was very serious. I, suggest that you offer him some tips on how to accept an award while using the allotted time to the best of his purposes. Thank you very much, Advanced Toastmaster Bronze, John. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. General Evaluator. <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters, I really want to acknowledge Jeeves for it. It's very difficult to set up the audience for an evaluation, uh, for a presentation of an award like this, especially the grub, you know, which is really a very special award in, in and of itself. I wish, Jeeves, you had warned us, however, of those little desserts that you'd passed around, that those were actually made of grub worms before you handed them out. That's the only thing that I would suggest to you. Also, you had a tendency, when you were talking, you were facing this way, and so you were talking to this side of the audience, but other than that, I think a, a fine job of, of introducing Mitch for her uh, prestigious award, Mr. General Mary. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Advanced Toastmaster Bronze, John Mill. Oh, sorry, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 